everyone, I'm Miss Elizabeth and we are going to do some belly breathing today. And you may wonder why should we practice belly breathing? And the reason is you can do belly breathing anytime, anywhere, when you need to settle your body down. So maybe you're in the middle of a basketball game and it's very exciting and you're starting to feel nervous. Or maybe you're in school and there's a test you have to take or um, something's happening that's making you feel maybe concerned or worried or uncertain. Maybe something unexpected happened and you feel very frustrated or very upset. Or maybe you're just super excited about what's happening the next day and you can't sleep. So this is a breath you can do anytime. No one even has to know. Uh, but we're going to start by getting your favorite stuffy or something maybe like a bean bag or even um, maybe uh, a pound bag of beans or rice you can place on your belly so you can get the feeling of your belly rising and falling. So first we're going to start on our back and then I'll show you how to do it sitting up and then I'll show you another way to do it where no one can tell. Okay, so let's start on our back. So come Get your stuffy, and if you don't have it yet, you can pause your computer, go get your stuffy and come back. We're gonna lay down on the back, and you can have your legs straight out. If that doesn't feel so comfortable, you can bend your knees, but try it if you can with your legs straight out, and find your belly. So find your belly button, and right underneath your belly button is where I want you to put your stuffy. This is my stuffy, I call him Frenchy because I got him in France. And when your stuffy is there, or whatever it is you're placing on your belly, if you have a bag of beans or rice, it'll feel a little heavier, but that will give you the sensation of feeling your belly rise and fall. And just pause here. <sighs> Take a breath in through your nose. And then sigh it out through your mouth really loud. <sighs> more time like that. Breathe in through your nose and sigh it out. Now see if you can breathe in and make your belly rise up. So you can even lift your neck, lift your chin and look at your stuffy or whatever's on your belly. See if it's up and then bring your belly down and see if it goes down. So you can breathe in. It rises and breathe out, it comes down. So we're gonna keep doing that. So breathing in, puff your belly up like a balloon. And then breathe out, let it fall all the way down. Breathe in, puff your belly. Breathe out, belly comes down. See if you can breathe in and out through your nose. Belly rises when you breathe in. And breathing out, belly falls. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. Belly rising. Breathe in. Breathe. 10 more, so I'll count them. Here comes one. Here comes two. Breathing in, puff your belly. And let your belly fall. Number three. Number four, your belly rises, your belly falls. Number five, and down. Number six, puff your belly, breathing in. Let your belly fall, breathing out. Three more, breathing in. Here comes the 
number eight. Two more, number nine. Last one, belly rises, do it again. And it falls to the knee up. And before we sit up, just notice how your body feels after doing all those belly rises. You can say it out loud. How does your body feel? And maybe it feels the same. That's okay, however it feels. So come up to a seat when you're ready. And I'm going to sit up on the edge of a blanket, but you can sit any way that's comfortable. And we're going to do the same thing, but this time you're going to put your hands on your belly. And you're going to be able to feel your belly pressing into your hands when you breathe in. And your belly and your hands are going to fall when you breathe out. You can even just put a gentle press on your belly. So breathe in, relax your hands, let your belly rise. And breathe out, press just really little, lightly, really, really gently. And then let's do that three more times. Breathing in, puff your belly, breathing out, belly come in. Two more, breathing in, breathing out. Can we do two more? One more. So good. All right, now this is the last one which is let's pretend you're in the middle of a basketball game or a soccer game or you're in a grocery store and you're frustrated or who knows, whatever's happening and you need to do some belly breathing to help you just settle your body and get a little bit calm so you can make really good choices. So sit up nice and tall and just take a breath in through your nose. My belly's puffing out and I'm going to breathe out and my belly's going to come back in. I could be doing anything. I could even like raise up my hands. Can you try that? Raise your hands up. Breathe in, puff your belly. And breathe out. Try that. You can do something else. Can you try something else with your body? You can stand up if you want to. Breathe in. Breathe out. So move your body one other way. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to a seat and sit up nice and tall. And we'll do one more big belly breath together. So breathing in through your nose, puffing your belly out. You can put your hands there or not. It's up to you. And breathe out. And that's belly breathing. So now you have a tool that you can use anytime, anywhere, when you need to calm your body so that you can make really good choices. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you keep practicing belly breath. You can do it every day. You can do it all day long. You can just do it sometimes. But now you have a tool. So thanks for joining me for belly breathing. I'm Miss Elizabeth. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.